Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Most of us don't know how to design these type of product showcase stage. And we think that, these designs are done with 3D software. But in this video, I will show you step by step process, how to make the designs through Adobe Illustrator. By watching this video, you can learn some of Adobe Illustrator functions, that you have never seen before. So, make sure to watch carefully to the end, and then write in the comments section the most valuable information that you find in the tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start the video. I have already taken the design colors code for making the video short. And I will give these color codes in the video description. First of all, for making stage, we first design the background, and then designing the others. So for background design, first take rectangular tool, and draw a rectangular equal to the artboard. Take eyedropper tool, and use the color as background. Make sure, your rectangular perfectly placed to the artboard. Now take gradient tool, and make the gradient perfect like that. I think, that's good. Again take rectangular tool, and make a rectangle to bottom side of the artboard like that. Now take eyedropper tool, and use the second gradient color. The gradient is same for all part, when I go gradient, you can see that. As you can see, when I select the background, the gradient is same of reverse of the color. I think, you guys understand this. Now take gradient tool, and hold shift, use the gradient color like that. Okay, that's good. Now copy the part by hold alter, and place it bottom like that. Now make it half like that. and use the third gradient color. This is a simple color combination of blue and black. Because I want to make a shadow to the little rectangular. Now select the rectangle, and go transform, from the transparency, select screen. Now place this part perfectly here. If you don't find the transparency, Go Windows, you will find here every feature of Illustrator. Now select everything. And make a group. And lock the background by hold Ctrl 2, OK, that's good. Now I will design the stage on which products are showing. So, Take rectangular tool, and draw a rectangular how large you want to draw the stage. I think, that's good. Now take eyedropper tool, and give color to it. As you can see, the color is same as before gradient, just add here white color. Take gradient tool, and hold shift, perfectly place the color. Now we place here circle. So take ellipse tool, and draw a circle like that. Make sure, your circle width is equal to stage width. Now copy it by hold alter, and place it bottom of the rectangular like that. You can check it by going outline mode by press ctrl y. I think, everything is perfectly place. Go back normal mode by press ctrl y. Now select the circle. And change the color of it. Place it equally like that, ok that's perfect. We have made the stage. Now select everything, and make it group and place it little bit down like that.
Now we are adding shadow for the stage. For add shadow, take ellipse tool, and draw a circle. Take eyedropper tool, and use the color. Now go gradient. As you can see, this is a simple color, now select radial gradient. File it and the circle like that. Hold Alter, and copy the circle. Take eyedropper tool, and use the color, and select radial gradient. Now select the two circle, and make it middle align. Now go transform, and make it mask. Now place the shadow under stage like that. Select the stage, and bring it to front. Select the shadow, and select the multiply. Ok, that's good. And place the shadow perfectly like that. Now select the stage and shadow, and group it. Now hold Alter, and copy the stage, and place it aside of the stage. Make it little like that. Again copy the stage by hold Alter, and place it the right side of the bigger stage. Now select the two small stage, and make it middle align center. And group it. Now select the big stage, and bring it front. Now select the three stage. And make it middle align center. And group it. Ok, that's good. Now we add shadow right side of the big stage. For that, take pen tool, and draw the area in where you want to put shadow. Now change the shadow part color to white. Take Mesh tool, and add mesh to the point like that. Now select the three point by direct selection tool. And change the color to blue. Now place it right side of big stage, and from the transparency, select multiply. Ok, that's good, we have add the shadow. Now we will create a background for the back, and I know you've been waiting for this. So take rectangular tool, and select the area in where you want to add the design. Now copy the rectangle by hold alter, and keep it aside from the artboard. Take eyedropper tool, and take these gradient color. Again take rectangular tool, and draw a square. Now select these two point by hold shift, and curve it like that. Make it smaller like that. Select this part, and change the color to white.
Again select this part. And mesh tool. And add mesh like that. Now take direct selection tool. And select this point. And add color like that. Now flattened it like that. Now select this part, and copy it by hold. And make many as you need by hold control and pressing D. Now select the lines, and group it by press Ctrl G. Now select the blue rectangle, and make both middle align center. Now go transparency, and select multiply. Friends, keep watching, I think you will complete the rest.
Here's our finished masterpiece. I hope you loved watching this stage design come to life. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more creative content. Drop a comment below with your thoughts or ideas for what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and keep unleashing your creativity.